Whenever I give zero forks about what to... Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. I hope you're having a great day. Today, we are going to be taking a look at uh, Landmark's Panama City Pack from Orbix, which is releasing this Wednesday. Uh, price point, I think, uh, from what I can see, is about... I have the price point, I think... Uh, it's about eleven, twelve dollars. Let me just double check here. But it could always change because what the price I see uh, is not not the final price until Wednesday's release. But you can always check that uh, on their on their website. The uh, so we're gonna take off from the the main airport here in downtown. We'll go. Uh, we'll cross over to the Atlantic side, go by all the locks, come back, and then we'll come back into downtown, take a look at that, and then uh, turn the night lighting on, see how that looks. Hey, uh, Airstud and, uh, and Ryan, how are things? You, you can join if you want. Uh, we're in the Optica, you can fly whatever GA aircraft, but, uh... Yeah, you can join if you want. Yeah, obviously you're not gonna see what what I see because you'll only see it on the stream. But because uh, this releases on on Wednesday, but that, yeah, so that's the plan for today. Uh, what I did is I left the uh, the POA the POI markers on, so then that way we can see the uh, the POIs that Microsoft have added in versus what. Uh, what uh, Orbix has done. I almost called him a Sobo, but no, that's, that would be a mistake. Uh, so let, let's let's hop into the plane. But right off the bat here, if you take a look to the uh, to the right side, that you've got some of the uh, the ground buildings, some of the buildings that uh, Orbix has added in. And uh, so you, you can tell just because of the logos that it, it's Orbix and not uh, the default. So extra and then there are several other colored buildings. Let me see.
want to go get some notes that I have here. Just go back to the regular. Again, the, uh, the plane. So I'm in the uh, the Optica. Now, this is also from Orbix, but it also uh, provides some uh, great views because of the the glass cockpit. And then with um, the Toby Eye, it's like you just move your head around and you got great views. So I'm gonna do, uh, take off now. I'm in the beta. I know Airstead's in the beta, so we'll see each other. But if you're not in the beta, you, you don't see people that in multiplayer that are uh, in the beta. So like the, the two release candidates or the, the two releases are separate when it comes to uh, multiplayer. Get a little bit of uh, flap and uh, let, let's take off. So we're in like the northern part of the, the city. Oh, Ryan, the game's loading up. Okay. So there you have it, uh, Panama City in the in the background. There's definitely a lot more uh, skyscrapers with the uh, the landmark pack because uh, I went into this earlier and it was pretty much just the POIs that, uh, that Asobo had added in. That was it. I get my, uh, my map zoomed in a bit. Actually, let's, let's put the map on here. Yeah, fire map, so you can actually see where, where we're going. So we gotta come back over here. But you can already see, like, just underneath the VFR map, there's a uh, point of interest right there. And it's definitely a, a custom building. Just, I can tell just from the, from the shape of it. Yeah, it looks like a, like a church or... Yeah, because it's got like a steeple. So these are locks. I'm not familiar with the area, so... I... Like... I, I don't know the history. I don't know the... Uh, the names of the locks and all that kind of stuff. But... Uh, we'll take a look at it anyways. This is more to to preview the uh, the Orbix uh, landmarks pack, and it's, it's not I'm not here for a to provide a history lesson. <laughs> and if you're a kid in school, uh, yeah, you, you can't you can't count this watching this video as like a this uh, you know a history class lesson. <laughs>
But yeah, we'll pass by here again on our way back into the city. We're gonna try to fly a little lower. Let's go under under this bridge here. Yeah, if they move, uh, let, let's see. Because there, there's over 50 vessels, custom vessels that they have here. But we'll see if they move. Because if they move, yeah, it's definitely... I know there's parts of the... Um, uh, parts of the canal will actually work like the... Um, uh, the trucks on the side. Uh, let, let's take a look, see if this one actually moves. Gotta bring down the speed. Well, this, this ship actually looks. I'm gonna actually circle around because I want to get under the the bridge. But that ship actually looks like it's going to clip the uh, the bridge. But that's that could also just be because of my angle. Yeah, you, yeah, Ryan, you're, you're not going to see us because uh, you're on a different version of the game. We're on the beta version. And beta is actually open to, to anyone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that ship is stationary. And no, it's not going to clip the, the bridge. It was just my, my angle. But there is a boat down there. I'm not sure if it's the, the wake behind it or if it's a... It's got a big sail. Yeah, it's got a big sail. And I, I know the, the uh, developers, they can't really fix that, but <laughs> the, uh, the vehicle's still going under the bridge, going, and they're pretty much going under the ship into the water. That's something that a Sobo would have to fix. And I know that uh, Latin VFR, they just released a um, it's part of their like Eric's uh, series but it's uh, global uh, global vehicles or global traffic uh, vehicle traffic so all all your roads the traffic that you have they're gonna put in uh, they're gonna put in like real looking cars and trucks and then like the the trucks will have uh, real company logos on the on the trucks just to add to realism so uh, might take a look at that uh, later on uh, this week but that that just also I just came out uh, today I know it doesn't really add much because it's more so when you're flying a uh, VFR because IFR you, you're never gonna see your uh, vehicle traffic
no, uh, th but th no, that, w that was what I was talking about. Uh, Darbrin was the uh, the vehicle traffic. That's Latin VFR, not not Orbix. You got a naval ship there, and supposedly you would be able to land on the back of that ship. So there, with the uh, Panama City Landmarks Pack, there's uh, several uh, helipads on top of buildings, and then also landable areas on some of the, uh, the vessels. So if you're a uh, helicopter uh, enthusiast, you can definitely uh, use that. So they, they've done some uh, some terraforming around here. I'm not sure to what extent and like how it says extensive terraforming, but I don't know if it's the whole canal and the city or what it is exactly. There's uh, another helipad. more vessels there. But this is why I like the, the Optica when flying around like VFR. Just again because of the the views. And now now that I've got the Toby uh, eye tracker it just makes it even that much better. Well, here's another custom bridge. So this should actually be the end then. Because now we're we're out of Panama. We're now into... Because uh, we, we've crossed the border. Cross... Cross the state border, I think. Because after this, there's... Oh, yeah, 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 because you got the locks on the other side, way on the other side, okay. This is, like, further than I thought. Because I I always thought it was on the, like, yes, the Panama Canal goes through Atlantic to Pacific, but I didn't realize it was this big. So yeah, definitely uh, some more ships and vessels. Uh, 
uh, hey Bedrin, it's I think what I've seen it's it's about uh, 11 12 dollars US but that could always change by Wednesday but that's what I see when I when I go into the store is uh, 11 12 bucks on uh, Orbix uh, direct the uh, and then the the size is about uh, four gigabytes and they do have all five locks the centennial and atlantic bridges all uh, implemented so i actually thought that the canal was over but no we we still have the the last what last lock or is there two locks on this side Because that's where the the last lock would be. One thing that I don't uh, like. But it's not Orbix, it's more so with uh, like Microsoft, like the actual simulator is the edges. You always see like this, like, uh, depending on the angle that you get, you'll see this like extra edge around everything. Like even like uh, the boat here. You see, and it's not the shadowing. Let's take a look again. I, I don't think these ships... Yeah, the, the ship's definitely not moving. But what they did here was a Sobo had like the uh, the satellite imagery has it baked in. So then what they did was they they actually built the vessel and then put it on top. It might not ex be the exact same uh, vessel, but and I guess which way to go, right or left? Well, you go with where the ships are on the right side. red spot is like it's attracting me there I don't know what it is might as well go see what it is in uh, with the with the beta and sim update 8 there is uh, six degrees of, uh, of freedom support for the uh, Toby Eye. So you, you can definitely, I can move my seat over and I would actually move, but I, have, I actually have that setting turned off. Yeah, it's like 
baked into the ground. It's like, uh, like the same color of like volcano lava or something. Yeah, it just looks like they just clear cut it probably for electricity power line but it's like there's really no one out here uh, not sure about that Looks like a bunch of ships uh, waiting in the uh, in the water. And they're probably all waiting to get through the uh, the canal. like uh, like they're on holding pattern so I'm guessing this is gonna be the Atlantic bridge once we pass through the, the last part of the uh, canal. And then it'll take you, what, to the Pacific Ocean? No, the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, should I install the uh, beta? Didn't see you last week. Uh, yeah, because bo both Airstead and, and I are on the, uh, on the beta. Uh, but yeah, if you install the, the beta, then you'll be able to see us, and then you'll also get all the improvements that come with the beta. And I was going to say something, but then I don't want to jinx it either. We won't talk about the, uh, the big three-letter acronym. We won't talk about that. but it should help with some of that stuff. So yeah, I'm not sure how this works if you got the, because uh, it looks like there's two parts to the canal, 
if they have one going east and the other one going west. Yeah, no, not so much. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, I know it, it's it's not as fun when, because uh, yeah, last week when I couldn't see any anyone else, I was like, it was like the the blind leading the blind, but uh, like I was leading you guys, but in a completely like different universe, although on the same uh, on the same server. But yeah, what would make this especially great would be if these boats were actually moving through. But I don't think there's that capability. At least he'll see me, Ghost Squad sizzling. <laughs> uh. And I wonder, because I'm I'm not familiar. Like I don't know if they actually did some custom buildings, landmarks in this city over here, because it's not Panama City, but. It's a city right by the Panama Canal, so... We'll go down and see... But I, I already see some some custom buildings right here. Or like, uh, like the, the shipyard. Yeah, I was just thinking, do I have like my landing gear down? Is this retractable? But then I just press the button just to make sure. No, it's it's not retractable gear on here. So I I am good. Uh, did you advise all the players to do that uh, in your invite so we can see each other? I uh, yes, yes I have. And what I'll do is I'll send another uh, I'll send out another message uh, this afternoon. Just to remind, because some people haven't, uh, they haven't done their uh, reaction roles to see the other channels. And uh, just so that they can uh, be able to see that. Here it's it's probably like just like a a holding area for all the shipping containers probably like because it's just a bunch of square boxes and it's right by the uh, it's in the shipyard.
So we're going to uh, turn around here, go back to Panama City, and then uh, go into the uh, downtown area, and then we'll turn the uh, pull back the uh, the sun or push it forwards or backwards. I don't know. Uh, but we'll go into the dark to see what the night lighting looks like. But it, it, to me, that this pack, up to now, what I've seen, it it adds lots of uh, custom buildings and across uh, like a wide area. Like you, it's not just the the city, but the whole canal right down to to this side. And if if the price point is 11 12 bucks us yeah it's it's like a no-brainer especially if you want to come flying around the area obviously like it, it all depends on where you want to fly like if you want to fly in like australia all the time uh yeah don't buy panama city but if you want to fly you know into panama or out or uh, vfr ifr it just adds to the uh, to the scenery, but it's it's mostly this is made for VFR, like uh, wanting to to fly low and slow. Talking about low and slow, let's let's see. Oh, I have enough room to. Bring us down and pass under the bridge. Yes, we did. I still remember the one of the first videos I ever made for uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. I was uh, in my hometown here in Halifax, and I went under the bridge, and it was just like smack. You couldn't go under the bridge. up a bit actually too much But yeah, they they do have the different levels of uh, of water, so that's nice to see. It it does look a little weird, but it's always it's always been like that where the uh, the water the the banking can get very like unrealistic looking. Like you get these 
big, huge bay. Because you, you've seen it around the world, different rivers and stuff, to, where it's just like, uh, uh, yeah, it, it just doesn't look realistic. But that's that's not an Orbix. That's that's a sim issue. And really, it's it's not a big issue anyways, because you're flying up in the air. The only time that really affects you is when you're when you're flying with in a seaplane. Thing is, is do I remember how to get home? Uh, yeah, we're home. This way. Yeah, if you're not part of the, uh, the Discord, uh, we do have uh, Monday Night Flights in uh, multiplayer. So every uh, every second week it has been uh, military hops. And then uh, every other uh, Monday has been uh, bush flying, GA flying. So tonight is uh, military hops number six, uh, US military hops number six, because I think we did three or four up in Canada. And that's been uh, led, put on by uh, Air Stud behind me. Pretty much visiting all the uh, Air Force bases that, that he's visited throughout his uh, career. And then once we're done, I think it's one or two more. I think we're going to do like a C-17 flight because we've been doing the uh, the F-14 Tomcats and the uh, F-18 uh, uh, Super Hornet or Hornet, depending on which version you have. But then after that, we might go over to Europe, take a look at some of the uh, bases over there. And then throughout the rest of the week, I've got some uh, some other streams. Uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild coming out with an update tomorrow with the DLC pack. So you're taking a look at that. Uh, then you've got uh, on Saturday, I'll be doing a, a endurance race. I think it's to uh, Two hours, 40 minute endurance race. So uh, two or three man uh, team, part of a endurance team anyways. So we're, we're preparing for 12 hours of Sebring, which is at the end of March. But we have this practice race on Saturday. And then I think two weeks after, I think two weeks after is a, a, a six hour uh, race at Sebring and then the big special event at the end of uh, March in the, uh, the 12 hours and then sprinkle in between always have some videos
Are we like in like a Panama rave or something? S sounds like it from the music. But uh, PMDG, 737, quickly approaching. So uh, P PMDG, um, Robert Randazzo, he released a, um, a trailer on Saturday and then said maybe this weekend or the weekend after, he'll let the uh, beta tester start showing off the, uh, the aircraft. So I, I would say maybe by the end of March, beginning of April, we should uh, see that uh, aircraft in uh, Microsoft Light Simulator. And just hopefully everything works out smoothly. It should be fine for non-marketplace owners, but for marketplace owners and Xbox, who knows? Who knows what will happen there? So we'll change the uh, the weather a bit. Change the time. Oh wait. And we'll add some fuel. Or uh, oh, it's because I've. I gotta restart this thing and have. Absolutely no clue how to Except control E when in doubt control E That will uh, start your engines back for you But now I'm like I gotta retrim this And yeah, the, if you take a look around, it looks like this is like a private server, but it, it, it isn't. It's the uh, East USA, but it's just where Airstead and I are on the beta. Beta will only see beta uh, players on the um, on the server, while uh, those that are like on the previous version, they'll only see themselves. So, th and that's why you're forced to always update every time there is one because you can't have people on different versions of the game uh, within the same server or they, they won't appear on the same uh, even though you're on the same server you just won't appear So we're almost back, back to Panama, Panama City. And if you're just joining, uh, welcome to the stream. But yeah, the vessels are just uh, static uh, vessels. And there's over 50 uh, custom uh, static vessels. And we didn't check it out, but there's, there is some parts of the locks that are, uh, that there's like some animation, but it's not like the actual locks where the, the water, uh, increasing and receding and stuff like that. Like, you're not going to see that. 
when there's like some of the machines around there that will animate. And it's, so it releases on Wednesday, and from what I see, it's roughly 11, 12 dollars US, but that can always change on release date. Because I've seen it before where I see a price in the uh, Orbic Central, and then later on, like when it actually releases, it's slightly changed. But the, uh, all the helipads are landable. I haven't tested it, but uh, we're not in a helicopter today, so. So the helipads on the vessels, but also the helipads on the uh, skyscrapers uh, downtown. And from what I see is the, uh, the points of interest that the Sobol added. Those points of interest are are still there, but the ones that Orbrix have put in, there's no POI marker for it. I think there was about like four or five POIs that uh, Asobo has. But I, I'm not sure if Orbix have redone them because although they're they're handcrafted, the POIs didn't uh, they they look pretty like bland, generic sort of more so on the on the texture base. So once we go back downtown, we'll take a look at those buildings. See. If there's any texture changes or anything. And yeah, on the way out, we didn't see all the locks because there was one or two locks behind the uh, behind the airport. like tugboats down there.
But yeah, that skyline's looking pretty good. And you can see all the uh, the colorful like buildings. Now we're into like the, the shipyard area. And this is all custom made. This would be maybe the Centennial Bridge. I'm not sure of all the names of, of the bridges, but uh, this is obviously the last bridge before the, uh, the Pacific, so it's definitely it's definitely not the Atlantic Bridge. I can tell you that. So right over here, you've got a stadium. Football Stadium. And they uh, reworked the highway on the water side. And you, you can obviously tell the difference because that's pretty washed out. And that is it's very nice. But what, what's on the side? Is that like a, a bicycle path or something? Some more uh, points of interest, some churches. This is some kind of a point. Hotel. But yeah, definitely uh, more uh, skyscrapers and custom made. Because like I said earlier, it was pretty much just like the four, four points of interest that you can see. Everything else was either plain buildings or not even like no skyscraper built in that case. So here you've got like Tower Bank. And I know they've got uh, Bellagio, Bellagio Tower, unless that was the hotel back there. Uh, Bahia 
Pacifica. And performance wise, I'm not looking at the uh, frames per second, but uh, like I'm not noticing any any difference. So once we get out to the uh, these skyscrapers on the other side of the city, we'll uh, push the time forward into the dark, and we'll take a look at the uh, night lighting. But here, the highway looks really nice. You've got a car on the wrong side of the road, but I think it's because it's also cars going underneath through like the old roadway But yeah, where, where like the road changes like texture and stuff, I wish that would all be like redone. Don't have time, knowledge, patience for bugs. Final hopefully will be out in a few days. Sounds like a... Yeah, so the, the final will be out... Uh, next uh next tuesday i think next tuesday is uh march 1st so yeah it'll, it'll be out uh march 1st So we're going to uh, That's nice. The uh the red lights on top of the uh, tower.
But yeah, that still looks weird. But again, it's it's an Asobo thing, not a Orbix. But how the traffic is underwater, still underwater, and not really on the uh, on the highway. But the highway lighting looks really nice. And then it goes in. The highway lighting looks more realistic than the Asobo highway lighting just up ahead. Actually, this view makes it look like you're in like a, I, I forget what it's called there, but in Star Wars, uh, Darth Vader's in that, uh, his little thing. It looks like the, somewhat like the same view. Here you got the uh, red light flashing. You're parked? Yeah, I'm coming in for lightning. Yeah, good good thing because I I was thinking the uh, the airport was over there, but no. Here's the uh, stadium one last time. And the uh, bridge uh, lit up at night.
got uh, plenty of runway anyway, so... Oh, Bumpy. That's not what we're here for anyways. So this is uh, just a default airport. Uh, where is the taxi? I feel like I'm on a taxiway, but there's like no lighting or anything. Yeah, yeah, I definitely love it too for for VFR flying. It's a it's a great great plane for it. Oh, now my. Uh, Camera's going weird. But yeah, that's it for this stream. Thanks a lot, everyone, for, for showing up. Uh, the, it definitely... It, if it's going to be 11, 12 bucks on uh, Wednesday, I would say get it. Great for, uh, obviously, if you're going to do uh, VFR flying around here. But obviously, if you don't want to go to Panama, there's never a point to buy something just to have it. But it's got some, uh, some good lighting, uh, lots of custom buildings, and right across through the uh, Panama Canal, over uh, about 50 uh, custom vessels. And uh, what else is there? We've got the Panama Canal, uh, the five the five locks, the Centennial uh, and Atlantic bridges. So yeah, it's uh, nicely done. But thanks a lot for watching and happy flying. See you next time.